in non-endemic countries. There are now over 780 cases of monkeypox, a viral disease that's similar to smallpox but much less deadly. Authorities say there is only a moderate risk to global health, but this new outbreak of cases has led to conspiracy theories and online misinformation, much like we saw related to COVID-19. Well, this is Dr. Dr. Zachary Rubin. He's a US-based pediatrician who, as you can see on TikTok, has more than 160,000 followers. Since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, Dr. Rubin has used social media to debunk medical myths. And in recent days, he has turned his attention to monkeypox, posting videos such as this one. This debunks the false claim that monkeypox only affects LGBT plus citizens. While the majority of cases so far have been in gay and bisexual men after sexual encounters, health authorities have reiterated that anyone, regardless of their sexual orientation, is potentially at risk of catching monkeypox if they come into close contact with a patient, their clothing or their bedding. And Dr. Rubin told us in the Cube why these kind of false claims can also be dangerous themselves. My main concern is that people aren't going to take this seriously enough. When we consider that this type of disease still has a high fatality rate and can severely affect children, and it's a type of disease that I wouldn't want anybody to have because you can get very sick and have debilitating uh, permanent scarring from it. Um, people get sick and be sick for several weeks and take them out of work. So that's something that can affect a lot of people. If we don't take it seriously enough, it'll be much more difficult to contain. But when people are spreading this type of misinformation all over the place, it does confuse a lot of people into understanding what monkeypox is and whether or not it should be taken seriously. Leading experts with the World Health Organization have expressed doubts that monkeypox will trigger a pandemic. But they have said that action is needed to try and curb the spread of the disease. And Helena, this could very well include action taken on social media and by big tech companies to try and prevent an infodemic and to combat the spread of conspiracy theories and misinformation about monkeypox.